it's James with Max Muscle Davis County. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, today we're going to continue our lecture or basically our series on on protein and protein spiking in Nutrition 101. So a few years ago there was a lawsuit, actually it was about a year and a half ago, there was a lawsuit drawn up against a bunch of supplement companies that had misrepresented how many grams of protein uh, was actually in the product. Some of them tested at 50%, some at 40%, some at 60, 70, 80% of what was on the label. So basically it said 30 grams, you were really getting 20, maybe 19, even some low as 16 out of 30, which is pretty phenomenal when you think that you're, you're buying that, thinking you're gonna get 30 grams of protein, you're planning your whole day around you know an exact amount of protein that you think you're getting throughout the day, eating chicken breasts, eating eggs, having your protein shakes, just to find out that you're actually getting half or maybe less than half the protein you're supposed to get. I'm not going to draw attention to the names of the companies that were are being fined or sued for this. That's something you can do on your own. You can look it up. Just Google protein spiking. I believe it was in Forbes magazine that the article was actually written about it. But you can do that on your own. So basically what I would recommend is understand that you're not always going to get what you pay for. So if you go to a shop, you know, a shop and you get a a big tub of protein and it's thirty dollars you're probably paying the same amount per gram of protein as you would be buying a high quality one and getting more protein you're just going to be paying more for the container uh, in another video i kind of talked about <clears throat> looking at grams of protein per scoop and then the cost of protein per gram in the container we're not going to worry so much about cost per serving or cost per container because that's comparing different things. We're comparing a uh, volume of the container, not the actual protein, and that's why you would be taking it. So what I'd recommend is first, you know, if you wanna make sure, Google uh, these companies, see who they are, make sure you're not using their supplements if, if you think it's gonna end up being detrimental to your results. And then come shop with confidence. Max Muscle is uh, notorious for making sure that we are third party certified and tested. In fact, we have a magazine in our store that shows you uh, what we call a certification of analysis that was done on some of our protein. And basically our protein goes to a lab, it's tested, and then they give us the certification saying, this is exactly what is in your product based on a 35 gram uh, serving size or whatever. And it, it either exceeds or meets label claim every time. So. You know, if you come in and buy Max Pro Elite, you're going to get 30 grams of certified tested protein. If you buy Arm, you're going to get 28 grams of high quality protein for recovery. If you buy Pure Whey, you're going to get between 22 and 23 grams. So you're not going to be wasting your time or putting things in your body that doesn't necessarily need. So one quick thing, what is protein spiking? Just to wrap up. So protein spiking is putting a, an inferior product inside your, your uh, your protein to say that there's more protein in there than there is. Um, protein company or companies typically use a system called nitrogen testing to determine how many grams of protein are in their product. The problem with this is there are certain amino acids that are really inexpensive to purchase but by themselves are, aren't extremely efficient in, in doing any process in the body as opposed to a whole uh, protein blend which is the all 20 amino acids that we need. So if I add a lot of small pieces of these amino acids into the protein and then test for what we call nitrogen, it'll tell me, hey, there's 30 grams of protein based on this, this serving. When the reality is, is you've got 15 grams of protein and 15 grams of these miscellaneous amino acids. So one last, last thing about that is amino acids always have nitrogen but you can have nitrogen without having necessarily protein. And so that's what they do is they, uh, they're able to test. It's, an, it's less expensive to test for, for nitrogen as opposed to actual whole protein. And so it costs less money to test for it. You can put it on your label that you have that many grams of protein when in reality you don't. Uh, telltale sign is looking for free form amino acids. If you look at your, uh, at your label, it'll list say whey protein isolate, whey protein concentrate, whatever. If it starts listing amino acids all by themselves, then that's typically what's happening is they're adding these in. One thing to consider is if they're going through all this trouble to save money, they may just not put them on the label at all, so you wouldn't even know that was going on. So just trust, you know, uh, results is obviously gonna tell you more about what you're putting in your body than anything. 
So I'll put out the challenge. Come in and get a, a bag of our protein, go through it, and see if you don't get better results. I'm pretty confident that you will. Until next time, this is James with Max Muscle Davis County. Please watch any of our other videos on our products, on Nutrition 101, on using our in-body fat testing machine to see where you're at, to see you know, how much muscle mass and things. And We really do value your business. We want your success to be as big a priority for us as it is for you. And I uh, hope to see you in the, source, in, in the store soon. Thanks.